I draw for um, things like Private Eye and The Spectator. It's quite difficult at the moment trying to get a handle on Labour because they're all a bit gloomy and a bit dull and a bit boring. <laughs> Royston Robertson from Broadstairs has worked as a professional cartoonist for 20 years, sketching snapshots of social commentary that make a point and get a laugh. It's a form of comedy, definitely, yeah. Getting a joke across quickly and succinctly. It's nice to feel that you're part of that conversation that goes on, and I think particularly if there's some sort of um, major historical event, you know, like I say, some of the things we mentioned recently, Brexit or whatever, you know, it's nice to know that when people look back in the future, your cartoons will be there, and they're part of that historical document. Royston says a humorous pop at the political landscape helps people deal with the pressure when times are tough. It's a cliche, but if you don't laugh, you'll cry, you know. And when you think of the past sort of, I don't know, eight years or stuff, all the things that have gone on from, you know, Brexit to Donald Trump and COVID and Partygate and all these sort of huge stories that we've had over the past few years, it's been quite a tumultuous time. It's really difficult to imagine not having cartoons in amongst that, you know, to, to make light of it. A research centre dedicated to the history of political cartooning, the British Cartoon Archive, based at Kent University in Canterbury, is celebrating 50 years of collecting some of the biggest names in cartoon history. The first collection started after national newspapers made a deposit of around 20,000 drawings, now carefully preserved for research and for use in exhibitions by organisations like the Imperial War Museum to highlight themes, issues or events. What I find the beauty of the British Cartoon Archive is that it can reflect any situation and so you can use your subject search terms in the catalogue and find cartoons that reflect either events or people there's lots of caricatures of celebrities for example um, so you can really use it in so many different ways not just to tell the story of a particular political event that happened at a particular time people do want them we did the home bay cartoon festival every year and we see a lot of people are really into cartoons really interested in cartoons so they've definitely got a future Royston's already embraced technology and says cartoons are perfect for social media where instant connection is king. And when it comes to AI, Royston says he's not worried yet. As while artificial intelligence may be able to draw a picture, it can't create one that paints a thousand words. 